So today I'm out in the forest in hope to find a great location for capturing uh, wildlife. Uh, just the other day when I was biking I discovered a, a place that could be useful uh, just a little further ahead. Um, so today I'm going to check it out and see if it's any good, if it has some potential. Uh, maybe for photographing first birds or hopefully squirrels or something like that. So let's check it out. So we have to go in between these small trees. When I saw it I was uh, coming from another direction but I'm not sure exactly where it is. So, we are getting closer. Yes, here it is. I'm looking forward to this. Of course, there's no guarantee that there'll be any wildlife here. However, I, I like the fact that it's quite an open area. And uh, there's this beautiful dead tree trunk with, I think, a lot of possibilities. So if I maybe put some seeds down here or in all these small cracks and in a way it makes it visible that uh, this is a place to get food, then I think it should be possible to attract at least some some forest birds or something like that. All right, let's let's find the seeds. And make a little feast for forest birds and animals like that. I hope that this works out um, because I think it's a really nice location. Let's see if I can get something sticking here. Normally, when I do feed, which is only in winter month, then I feed only a few, one or two places at a time, and I don't feed for very extensive periods of time because I don't want the, I don't want the animals to get too used to this, so, so they'll go hungry if, if there's no, no food. So. So now I'll show you where I think I will place the hide. The sun is coming from over there, so it will hit the the tree trunk uh, early in the morning. And then if I place my hide just around here. So this is the place where I will sit on my hide and then there's like eight or ten meters uh, before uh, you get to the tree trunk. And I don't want to get uh, too close. The last time I was out in high I placed it like within six meters and when the J got there, as soon as I just moved the lens uh, slightly and slowly it was off again, so I didn't get a good shot. So hopefully, uh, if this feeding is successful, then um, we'll get jays and woodpeckers and stuff like that, and maybe I can get a shot of them on the tree trunk. All right, I think it's time to do a little exploring while we're here. Um, 
I'll go and see if I can find some other places that could be useful. So, I'll just get my bag. So there's some other very interesting tree trunks or dead trees that could be used uh, as a stage for for feeding. There's a lot of cracks and beautiful texture to this wood. So I think this is another potential site if the other one is not successful. So I can actually hear the woodpecker nearby, so hopefully I can get a chance to get a shot of that in a couple of weeks. Anyway, I think I'm done with this location, so I'll check out if there's anything else in the area that could be interesting in the future. I haven't been to this part of the, the forest, so I think Oops. Ah. I need to check where I'm going. It's very wet here. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, on the footage, I mean, this is actually a small, small animal track. I think it's roe deer, something like that. Maybe we can look for some other signs. So if I follow this track, then maybe I can find a, another location. Also, there were some um, roe deer or deer tracks um, just where we, we were just putting out the, the seeds for the birds. So. This may also be a, a place where they, they spend some time. So let's see if we can find some other tracks. Actually, this is how I find most suitable locations. Oops. This ditch is a bit wider than maybe if you take a look here. So there's no chance in me getting over there, but if you Check out the other shore over there in the center of the frame. Actually, I think this is where the the roe deer will pop up. And also, if we just check, I don't know if you can see this, but the grass is also worn out here. So they'll probably cross around here and get up on the other side. But you know. It's one and a half meter wide, so I don't think I'll jump. Maybe sometimes they go in another direction, or maybe we can find some somewhere else that could be suitable for photographing different kind of wildlife. So anyway, as, as I was saying, um, my way of finding great locations for shooting wildlife is by just exploring. Often when I'm out biking, I look for clearings down here. There's a, another pleasant surprise. There's actually a little, I don't know, lake or 
water hole. That's quite nice. That's actually a beautiful reflection. Now this is amazing, right? You can't see any birds around here though, but it's definitely a beautiful place. When I go look for locations to shoot wildlife, I do it by exploring and suddenly I'm a place like this. So I could imagine that in the fall, this would be great with the reflection in the water and some uh, autumn colored leaves. So I think I'll just make a note for myself about this place. This is what I usually do when I find a great location. I plot it in on, on a map and then just Name it something I can remember. This I'll just call like waterhole, landscape, autumn. And then when I'm in the mood for landscape photography in the autumn, then I'll check my map and see what comes up. So I have a, a range of options to, to visit. So anyway, I think that the reflection and the bright trees, uh, beach, in Danish it's called Birgetræer, beach trees, I don't know. Um, anyway, I think they could look quite beautiful. So let's continue. Maybe, maybe there's a path, path around this lake so we can explore from the other side. some more deer tracks here. It's definitely a place where a lot of roe deer crosses. Yes, droppings or poo or I don't know what you call it. It seems like there's a, a ditch more that's Wide, wide. Yeah, maybe down there it's possible to to cross the ditch. So let's try. Anyway, it could be it could be worth exploring these deer tracks and how they cross the the ditches maybe that could be a great shot if I could place a, a hide a little away and then just sit and wait for deers to to cross one of the one of these Stitches. I think that today has been quite successful and um, even though I haven't seen wildlife I have seen plenty of signs that there's wildlife here, a lot of 
roadier tracks. So I think I will have to get a trail cam and then maybe place it on one of the trees near these ditches because I think it could look great if I could get a few shots of deer crossing one of these wider ditches but I'll have to know uh, when and where they cross and then place my height accordingly. So I'll also have to get permission to set up a trail cam. So that'll probably take a, a bit time. Anyway, I also found a great location down at the small lake or water hole or whatever you call it uh, for autumn landscape photography. We also put out some seeds uh, hoping to attract wildlife. So if any of these things is successful, then I'll definitely bring you along for the next part. So make sure you subscribe and maybe hit the like button as well. And then I'll see you in the next video.